Today I'm going to show you how to set up a set of gravel wheels tubeless. This applies to road and mountain bike the same but these are going to be gravel. First of all you'll need a set of wheels which are tubeless compatible. These are Nexty RC32 no, they're next to the NXT 32RC. And we'll take tyres from 22mm to 45mm. Right. Next. Next you need your tyres. These are tubeless compatible. You get tubeless ready and tubeless compatible. These are tubeless compatible, which means, or tubeless ready, will have like um, a rubberized black inside, machine finished. These are tubeless ready, which means this is still a bit porous and with sealant will become tubeless sealed. These tend to be lighter, the tubeless compatible ones are lighter, but will take more sealant to make them airtight. So that's what it looks like inside a tubeless compatible tyre. They both do the same job in the long term. Yeah, next you'll need tubeless valves. These ones I've used already, but they're still good. Then you'll need rim tape. The rim tape needs to be the internal width of the rim. So inside of the rim is this wide. You also need sealant. On this occasion, we're using Silka. It's the best I've found. Um, I've used a number of different ones, but silk is the one I keep going back to and seems to seal holes better than anything else. Tools, you shouldn't need tire levers to get this on. That's hopefully we won't need them. A pair of scissors to cut the rim tape and in a sharp round metal, either bradle or hole punch, something to make a valve hold for the valve. Don't cut it with scissors. Don't cut the valve hole with the scissors in the rim tape because it will it wants to run. Okay before you start make sure that the inside of the rim is spotlessly clean. I've used these to start across over the winter and I'm converting them to a semi-slick road gravel tyre which is 38 mil wide. Clean them up with alcohol and so the, the actual rim bed is perfectly clean now. You need to take your rim tape, and remember I said it needs to be the same width as the internal measurement of the, the rim bed. So it needs to sit up, and when it gets pulled in, we'll be covering up all the holes. First thing you need to do is find the valve hole on your rims, which is here, and when you tape, start taping, what you want to do is start taping to the left hand side of the valve hole and then tape all the way around 360 degrees and then finish to the right of the valve hole. So when you make a hole, you've got an overlap of rim tape. So when you make the hole and pull the valve through, it will actually hold it in place. Right, before we get started with the rim tape, there's two things to take into account. There's two real types of uh, rim tape that are used now. This one, which is polypropylene, and it's quite easily identifiable. There'll be no printing on it. People like Stans use it, this one here. I can't remember who this came from. This is very resistant to any particles that are inside the sealant, which can wear away other rim tapes. And the second type of rim tape is called PET. I don't have any here, but it's quite easily identifiable. It will have printing on it. A lot of brands like that because obviously you can uh, market it and it looks good. Whereas this is quite plain. The PET material is less resistant to abrasion. So you need to do two loops on the actual rim itself. Whereas this stuff you can get away with one because the sealant won't attack it. Whereas the PET, and the sealant does attack it and will wear away the surface and so you need the first one to protect the second layer. Okay we're going to start wrapping the rim with the rim tape. Here's the valve hole so we need to start find the end of the 
and we're starting you want to keep it Now we've got round to the point where we started from. Here's the valve hole here, so we want to finish it to the right of the valve hole so we've got an overlap. So just simply cut that off. Push it down. Right, so you want to get as few wrinkles as possible. Okay, so now find the hole with your finger. Make a hole with your material. Then you run. we're now ready to put the tyre on. You need to check the tyre for direction travel. You can see a small arrow there. Once you've found the direction of travel I always try and put the tyres on in the same way every time so you don't make a mistake. It's really nothing more annoying than setting the tyre off and you're finding out the tread is on the wrong way around. So the way I always do that, always set the wheel up with your disc on the left which is how it would be on the bike so you're looking at that so you know this is the forward motion and so the tyre wants to go that way the arrow wants to go that way start by putting the tyre on away from the edge of the the valve is over here so start on the other edge which is here You're trying to get the bead of the tyre so that's all in. We want to make sure the bead of the tyre is in the channel and obviously critically You want the tyre to be sitting in the groove between the rim bed and the valve hole. Notice the valve is now lined up. Next thing you need to do is shake the sealant. Have that ready. How much of this should you put in? Uh, it depends. Once you've shaken this and it's ready to go, put it to one side and don't kick it over. It's very easy to kick it over. So what you want to do is start from the opposite side of the valve and put it on with your thumb. Make sure that the bead is going into the into the groove. So now I've got the the tire pretty much all the way on, and I've left a gap, left a gap here for the sealant to go in, just to the side of the valve. So I don't want to put it in straight where the valve is. And this silker stuff, it can't go in through the valve, it will just block it up, so it has to go in. What I tend to do is have enough to cover the bottom in a, a reasonable puddle like that. 
So the trick to this, put the lid on before you knock it over. So you've got the puddle of sealant here. Tip the sealant up so it's down here now. And then pop the tyre all the way on with your thumbs. You'll get some sealant coming out. Right. So you can be left with this last bit. It can be a little bit tricky. So just make sure you put the sealant, put, put the bead all the way in and then goes on just with your thumbs. Fires on, sealant's in, you want to run it around, just give it a swish. Can you hear it? That's how you know you've got enough in there. And now the tyre's ready to be pumped up. I'm lucky enough to have a track pump with a reservoir on it. It's not critical to have one, but it's handy and uh, it's pretty much guaranteed to go up with it. Undo the valve, make sure it's clear. You should have the tyre sitting there at kind of uh, 10 o'clock so the sealant doesn't go into it 